Hello everyone, it's Wild Farmer 6010. We're currently here at the 2023 Cloud and it's the Wednesday. So we're currently coming in the gate. Oh, all Irish breakfast all around and there's Daniel and uh, all the rest of the boys. So Visit Pearson-International.com to view our express adoption. Oh, like good roads though. We have a nice Kamatu here, boys. I do like the Kamatu loan shows now. She's a big puppy all the same at BKT stand. She's on eight hundreds. Some grape as well. Come tell me, have Red Rock just started doing straw blowers or have they, have they always been doing them? There's some Kramer boys. We'd love to see you pushing up silage though. <laughs> what do you think lads? Not much. Wilson, which is a bit different, a lot bigger over it. But this is actually a 12 bale, I think. And it has the, the hydraulic, the hydraulic there, so you can let off the bale without driving forward. So a bit more high spec, but would love to see one in action at the same time. And also the chassis is a lot different. The Wilson has a a two beam chassis, and the Celtic only has a one. So it's a bit a lot more heavier of a machine. What a funny looking yoke now. Pure council spec. John Deere. This is some yoke, boys. You wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to be on water with that now. You just float on water. Fairly mucky here, lads. No. You rock the dog in there. You wouldn't let the, the goldfish out with it. Lovely little two for a plow, lads. Good for competition plowing. There's a few bacados, lads. One of the telescopic reaches one there. Does, does look like a nice one too, to be fair. Hey, there's no uh, forward crank one though here though. And then you have all the other ones too. Here's Mikhail's new tether. Some job. Some width of the oak as well, to be fair. Then there's the tree by linkage one there though. And then the new Fusion 4s are over there. So I may do a Fusion 4 model soon enough, I'd say. Three rows down and it's And then the, after getting a, an old Mikhail jersey there too. There it is. After get a free bit of milk, boys. <laughs> Can't buy it, feel a bit thirsty. It's too windy already. I'm giving a shake. Daniel's fair is thirsty. So it's fair. Listen. Thank you, Terlin. Quick little mention here for Owen McKeown here at 132 Model Collector on Instagram. And he actually built the 132 scale armor truck from Amazon. So you'll see in, later in the video here. But nice meeting you, Owen, and give him a follow on the Instagram too. We're, we're just after coming out here, and Owen's after breaking his good road stone path. And this is a fixed one. A fixed one, yeah. Well, we're just here at the Malone stand looking at a few hay turners and few rakes and bowers. And then Finn's put on his hard hat. <laughs> a good day so far anyway, it's currently half eleven, so plenty of the day left anyways. Here's a size comparison, look. Look at the size of it. 
I'm about 85 stone compared to this one. Gee lad, power steering a lot. There's a right little yoke. Fuck look. Isn't it like? Cheney boys. Look, she's an automatic gearbox. Some 52 ton digger there now, boys. Oh, lad, hedge cutters. A few hedge cutters, now. There's even a Cummins engine in there, I think. Over in the back there. We'll go have a look at this, though. I wonder, I wonder what that fitted the floor. Model being bought, boys. This thing is nice. Look, look at this for uh, arms or lads. A black, black fat big X. <laughs> Some piece of machinery now that. Here we have the fireman armor truck. Um. It's some piece of kit. It's a Mercedes lorry with a Amazon fertilizer spreader on the back or a lime spreader. I'm a truck. Uh, a good friend of mine is Stevens, uh, Owen McKeown. He actually, he was asked to do a model on this and it tur turned out beautiful. You can check him out on Instagram at uh, 132 model collector. And he is just, his models are something else. So you can definitely check him out and uh, you see it on his Instagram, he's doing a good job. It was only one 7 8 tire, that is blue. A few nice models here by Zan or to Motorsport. And uh, more in signs as well. Good few uh, T W. Do you want to want to subscribe? We've got room to put in a bag, yeah. Not sure what I'll buy you though. Here, I can black hair. Go to Britain's and uh, Seagull stuff here, so there is. Even the new uh, 4450 and the new uh, 5 Pro Plows. So they see the new models and even the um, 6S Matthew is there as so. well. And the 8 or as well. And the Matthew 6180, which we reviewed earlier in the year. Here we have two loyal subscribers, Josh and Jack is yeah. from uh, Offley there, boys. So it's out, lads. See you now. So I eventually decided I buy this Lexi here, Red Marks models here at the moment. Great deal, reduced to 100 euro, so should be a good conversion later on for the YouTube channel. So we'll hopefully see it in the videos later on, and maybe even at Moria Model Show. We have grass with this beautiful T7060. It is an absolutely lovely tractor in fairness, though. Beautiful tractor. And it's that UTV uh, lights here today displaying the LEDs on it. So here we are at a few of the classic tractors here in the field, just out by the Seamus Moor uh, area where they have the the tents. So we've there's a 5000, a few majors, there's a Lambs Bulldog and a very rare Volvo BM. A nice Zatter, a 342, lovely 4600 Ford there. And a nice little JF there too. Tide, that's a tidy little outfit. And uh, an industrial 990 David Bowen. And I really like this track here, the 1200. And we even have a 1200. That is beautiful there. You all know I have one of these on the model farm. And uh, I'm a big fan of them now. They're getting rarer every day. A 
lovely, gorgeous 3350 with a round nail. Gorgeous. gorgeous. These boys are trying to get this yoke started, I think. This is a yoke you don't see often. A triple D dough. Wonder if it's a genuine one as well. Fantastic. So that's plowing day three over and out. Currently, um, we went to Thursday as well, and I kind of videoed everything on the second day. I've done a bit of filming there on the cattle and stuff and things, and then I didn't really film on the second day, so. Um, just walking out the car park here and the conditions aren't really the best so uh, we've got a good few things anyway I just have to get a heap of stuff out of the crown stand, the farm hand I might buy a few things off the good friends of grass men so um, very good and I'll show you the other models there on the YouTube channel what I got as well like, I got a, a new combine as well so hopefully you've enjoyed the plowing vlog um, it's pretty similar to last year and trying to make a bit of humor as well at the same time it's not all that it's not all serious and got a good few photos with i got I actually met george sanders there as well uh, we watched him a while on youtube and got a photo with donkey from grassman and uh sammy from bookie day competitions as well so uh also see Falvey XL, but you can get a photo of him on Forest people, or whatever. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please give the video a like if you did enjoy. And if you didn't go to the plowing, what was your favourite part of the plowing? What was your favourite machine? What did you most enjoy about it? I'll see you again in the next video. Please like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye for now. For now.